Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 10th, 2021. Well, yesterday we had a little bit of a mix in uh, the market where we saw some defensive names kind of holding up and we saw tech shares getting a little bit of selling coming into that. But honestly, it was probably more just a hurry up and wait day as we wait for that CPI number this morning. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. But honestly, just about anything is possible as we wait for that CPI number that's coming out before the bell. But let's take a look at the details of the charts and see what we can get for some information. First off, let's take note that as we have been trying, and boy, we have been trying to push through some resistance in this chart, we just haven't been able to get it done here in the Dow. Just can't quite get it through there. Now, if you draw your um, resistance right in here, we're just right there at a pretty significant level of price resistance. And we're trying to get that, um, that price to push up through. And boy, they gave an attempt here in the diamond channel yesterday but by the end of the day just was not quite able to hold on to it and I think it was just uh, an awful lot of chop a lot a lot of do about nothing as we waited um, as we wait for that CPI number um, let's take a look though at some potential places where the market could go if we get a number that inspires those bulls let's look for some resistance right up in here on the chart first and then of course then we might be reaching out for the new highs if we happen to inspire the bears however i would probably look to a place down here for that next level of price support we could slip back down into that area and i would be a little bit concerned if we drop through notice we have this little area here if we drop through into that gap that could really bring on some heavy selling if we were to fall through that. So watch carefully in the chart if we do start pulling back. It is also entirely possible that we just kind of ignore the number today and just continue to drift here a little bit um, in consolidation. Then let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. Now in this chart, we have probably the best chance of hitting some new records. Um, we'll see how we react to that data this morning. Um, right now we've got pre-market. Um, it's kind of, kind of funny to me because, um, Asian markets sold off across the board last night. European markets are just holding their breath. They're not doing much of anything, but boy, here in the U S it's all pump in the pre-market let's just pump this sucker up and get her going and so we're pumping up this morning as if there's nothing uh coming our way here in just a few moments um that could change everything so watch that carefully this morning as we try to anticipate this so what we're going to have to watch carefully in here is if we do uh, find that bullish um, reason for us to move higher or if we ignore a bad number and just keep pushing on higher, um, watch for that resistance break. Now we won't make a new record high technically until we break that area, but we could have a new record high close just by peeking our head above that area if we could close up there. Um, watch these levels in the chart. If we fail, if we find that reason for the bears to come in, this area right here has been serving as support and I think it could give up pretty easily. And that would mean we may have an opportunity where we could move down into these levels into here. What would be really ugly is if we continue to slide and retested that 50 day moving average down here. But I don't see that happening today. Just um, watch pretty carefully here on that number as it releases. The NASDAQ, if we take a look at that NASDAQ looking in here, we have a pretty significant level of price resistance. And doggone it, we put in an evening star pattern yesterday 
on the chart. So unfortunately, we have a little bit of a situation where we have a little bit of bearishness in that evening star pattern with a gap below if we were to find reason for those bears to start pushing. So watch that closely. Now, we this resistance level in the chart, we've got some regaining to do, obviously, if we're going to push on through and pop that area um, right there as resistance. Certainly possible if we get lots of inspiration today. And if we were to slip and fall, just notice we've got a little bit of a gap in here where we could move this NASDAQ down pretty quickly. There is a little price support right through there that could hold us. And of course, if that doesn't hold, then we'll come back down and test this area in here in the chart. So watch that closely. And then if we take a look at the Russell, boy, IWM. IWM also put in a pretty bearish look yesterday right at price resistance. We have this price resistance right here in the chart. We have the downtrend right here in the chart. We just kind of smacked right into it and retreated yesterday. So we have that evening star type pattern or that bearish reversal look here in the chart. Now the question is, will we find some additional levels of price support? Could we hold off of this area of support? Yeah, absolutely, we certainly could. Um, if we don't, however, one of the things that I mentioned before is we can't rule out the possibility that we retest these lows down in here um, with that lower high failure at downtrend. So watch that carefully. Small cap, not looking so good at the moment. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now we were talking about that VIX pushing back past that 20 handle or down into that 20 handle yesterday. And I said, watch that carefully because there is a pretty significant level of price support through that area and look at all the prices where we've held in this area and danced around in that area and we ended up catching that support yesterday pushing a little bit higher particularly right at the end of the day so nothing terrible here we do have a little bit of an elevation in that um, VIX, which makes you know us wonder about the volatility um, around the day. But keep an eye on this. We could continue to slide out here toward this upside trend before we really take off, um, you know, either going down or going up. So watch that carefully. Now, if we were to go early, if for example, we were to get a real bullish number and fail down through here, well, that's where we could see new record highs in the market. If if, if um, we find reason for those bears to attack, however, watch carefully as we push up into this level. Um, we'd like to see some price resistance right in here, but if we fly right on through there, it could get pretty painful pretty quickly to the selling side. So watch that close. And then let's take a look at our T2122. Our four week new high, new low ratio. Now what was interesting yesterday while the diamonds was trying to show us that there was nothing to worry about, uh, tech shares kind of got hit pretty hard and um, we saw that selling coming in and what that did is that moved us down pretty substantially here in our T2122. Now it, with this big data coming out this morning what that does tell us is we have a pretty good upside opportunity a real strong upside op opportunity if we can get a bullish number in here we've created plenty of upside potential move in that chart it also tells us however though if those bears are inspired we still have a pretty good move to the downside before we hit any kind of a bearish reversal zone so um, it's one of those where it doesn't, you know, T2122 doesn't tell us the direction and with a big data point coming our way that could move us a lot, um, anything is possible here in the chart is what that really is showing us. If we take a look at our T2108, got to tell you, um, not real encouraging here in T2108 in that yesterday we pulled back and notice all of this price resistance in that chart. Here we are trying to make new record highs in the SPY or very, very close to new record highs. And yet we only have 32% of our stocks above the 40 day moving average. Kind of an interesting situation here in the market. We're getting less and less companies able to push us to the upside. And that does make me want to be really cautious and maybe hedging for a potential downside move. If we take a look at T2107, 
Same situation here where we continue in this long-term downtrend. Um, the number of stocks below their 200-day or above their 200-day moving average slipped just a little bit yesterday. We're about 40% of our stocks. But notice all the price resistance in this chart that we're going to have to get through to, to improve that. So we're going to need a pretty good number maybe in that CPI to really start lifting things up and getting us going if we're going to be heading back to the upside. Then let's take a look at our T2101. Kind of interesting yesterday that although we were trying to get a little bit, bit of bullishness going in the market we really didn't see an improvement here in t2101 we're remaining rather elevated up here and one of the things I'm, i've been cautioning on is if we hold up here and then see that bearish move in the market and spike up that's where some real selling could come into the market that's where some real pain could come into the market so um we're going to want to watch those numbers pretty closely this morning and see who gets inspired um, if those bulls come back in we may push that on down if those bears come in hard um, watch for that to spike let's take a look at our economic calendar for today in our economic calendar what i've been talking about all morning here is this cpi number um, consumer prices are expected to surge as a matter of fact the estimate is that the cpi will come in somewhere around 6.8 percent which would be the highest level of inflation in nearly 40 years now, we had a number last Friday that was supposed to come in really, really good on jobs, and it came in horrible, and we ignored it. So is it possible we could get a really bad CPI number and just go, ho-hum, we don't care, let's just buy something? I think it's entirely possible in this market. This market loves to ignore these internals. When, when these internal numbers are ugly, terrible, when we have productivity coming in at a 1960 level and we don't care um that makes me very nervous in the market so watch that carefully we'll have to see maybe we just ignore on that cpi number and continue to push up if we do however react negatively to it um, it could be a rough Friday, so watch carefully there. And then I think probably the number that's going to be more important to me is this consumer sentiment number. We know that consumers did not purchase at the levels that was expected for the holiday season, despite all of the sales activity and things going on out there. And I think sentiment is being pressed here just a little bit. Right now, um, in the Okano day, they're ex expecting just a little bit of a slight decline in consumer sentiment. Watch that closely. If that were to come in better than expected, of course, that could be bullish. If it comes in worse than expected, however, and adds to a high CPI number, uh, that, could be, um, that could be the next shoe that drops so watch carefully and then treasury sentiment later in the day and i don't think anybody's going to care about that once we um, get through the data points this morning let's take a look at our earnings calendar now our earnings calendar is really light today we have um, 14 companies listed on the calendar to report today but only two of them are confirmed so if you guys want to uh, want those two you can click that link below the title of the, the video that'll take you back to the morning blog and um, but I can cover these here this morning and they're not exactly um, what you would think would be particularly really notable stocks so ASO will be reporting uh, today kind of keep an eye on that and uh, JOUT is also on that list reporting today um, like I say, not exactly uh, major notables or major market movers um, uh, for today in those earnings report. It's, it's going to be all about the economic data um, this morning, so keep an eye on that. So with that, everyone, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up? But before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be helpful, to be useful to you, if you could please click that thumbs up 
button. And I know it's a pain um, to continue to, you know, write those brief comments, but it does help the channel to continue to grow. And I really appreciate um, that little bit of, uh, you know, to support the effort of putting the videos out. It makes a big difference to me. So thank you everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's, um, um, take a look at some of these stocks. But before we do that, guys, I want to remind everyone that today I am opening up the Right Way Options trading room. Everyone listening to this video right now is welcome to come into the Right Way Options trading room today. So right down there by the title of the video, I'm going to have a link to the Right Way Options trading room. It's open, it'll be free all day. And what we're going to do is we're gonna do a drawing. We went over 25,000. We're gonna do a drawing. I'm gonna draw um, someone's name um, from the trading room today. And we're gonna be looking at um, some uh, Christmas things that I have carved and you can uh, take a choice on those. And um, if, if, um, if you're there, you're going to have an opportunity to win. Anyone in the room will have an opportunity to, to win. So how about we do this today? The normal right way options training session starts at um, 11 a.m. Eastern time and goes all the way through to 1 p.m. Eastern time. So why don't we plan just before we cl close things down at 1 p.m. Um, on that training session. How about we do the drawing just before 1 p.m. Everyone is welcome. Come on over. You can spend the whole day in the room. Um, I'll be over there just right before the bell um, starts and we'll start, we'll do our normal activity and you guys can ask any question that you want. We'll also, I also have something special for everyone that is not a member uh, coming over. Um, I'm going to give everyone that is interested a free seven day trial to right way options. So come on over and try us out, ask questions and let's have a great day today. So how about we look at a few stocks here that could be setting up and remember guys, we've got to be really, really careful here. And th these are not recommendations to buy or sell any securities. Um, but, um, make sure you're checking and doing your own due diligence on the risk of these trades. Now, yesterday, if you guys remember, I mentioned that possibility. If you're looking for a short trade, you might want to take a look at um, the Russell for that potential um, short uh, trade. And if we take a look at this uh, daily chart, you can see that really would have played out pretty well um, dealing with that price resistance here in the chart. So watch that closely. If those bears were to come in, I think the Russell has a pretty good chance of moving lower. If those bears were to, were to uh, get feisty here, um, that could move down uh, pretty sharply. I also mentioned AMD yesterday, and I was talking about AMD as a possible short, and boy, did it come in later in the day yesterday for that short trend. We have now created the lower high in the chart. We are failing at price resistance here on that AMD, notice there's not a whole lot of price support underneath here. If we were to fail through this area, drop through here, there is a big open space. AMD could move to the downside. So watch that pretty carefully and closely. Let's take a look um, really quick. I don't talk about Tesla much because it's really one of those very expensive stocks that a lot of folks can't trade. But I gotta tell you, if you guys caught the news this morning, um, um, CEO sold another uh, just about a billion um, dollars worth of shares um, in Tesla. And you can see we're moving lower here and we have a price support right in this area. This is a kind of a bearish wedging uh, looking pattern here. And if we were to slip down through here, I want you to notice there really isn't any price support underneath. Um, that area right there. So if Tesla slips through here, I would look for a pretty substantial decline um, in Tesla, maybe down into here. So you're looking at, 
you know, better than $100 a share if that were to occur. So watch that carefully if Tesla continues in this little downtrending move and, and that begins to pick up um, on the downside. On, on positive side stocks, let's take a look at a couple. As you guys know, I've been looking at this LAC and LAC continues to hang in here. And I, what I like about the chart is not that it's quite ready to buy yet, but it's one of those we know lithium is going to be a pretty hot commodity uh, from here on out with all of the batteries that we're going to be making for all of the EV vehicles out there. But if you take a look, um, we broke that broke that support here but now we've climbed back up and we're holding that area in here so if we if we can hold this support if we can find some inspiration here in the market for the bulls I would keep an eye on that LAC there is that possibility that could push on through to the upside one thing I want to point out here today is you might want to be taking a look at defensive sector stocks defensive sector stocks we started down yesterday in Procter and Gamble but look at that big um, well excuse me this morning but look at that big bounce that we're seeing here this morning Procter and Gamble has been really really strong and these defensive sector stocks have been holding up pretty well take a look at PepsiCo PepsiCo holding in this nice little consolidating move after breaking through that resistance if um, the market gets a little bit scared we might see that move or that rotation into these defensive sector stocks for that dividend yield and a little bit more of a safety play in the market so keep an eye on that we've got this upside trend so there's no reason to believe that this is going to go today as a matter of fact it may have to rest all the way out here to trend but keep a close eye on PepsiCo trying to pick up here just a little bit some of that little defensive stuff coming in now I also have to mention um, stocks in that energy sector you know one of the major contributing factors to our inflationary problem is energy and although we've released oil from the strategic reserve now uh, oil prices continue to um, push up now what I would want to watch here is notice that we kind of had went through this little uh, chunky um, volatility here in um, that oil sector but take a look right across here we're holding this level of price support and we climbed back up through that little downtrend so I would watch this out here to see if someplace out in here we can re-engage that upside trend and it'll be really um, uh, interesting if we can break through that level right there if we pop out of there um, hang on energy could go quite a bit higher so watch that closely um, on those energy sector stocks stocks like um, Devon Devon energy has held up really really well hanging in there nicely uh, been seeing like Exxon Mobil breaking its downtrend trying to push back up so there are quite a few out there that are looking good CVX um, um, breaking through to new highs looking very bullish in this consolidation and that chance that it could be ready to start moving to the upside here soon so watch carefully on those charts and then I think um, if you're still looking um, you know if there's something else out there you might want to take a look at utilities um, utilities have been holding up remarkably well and that's not something you would typically see in what we would consider a very bullish market because these are very benign type trades they're not known for just making big gains um, but they are good divvy payers so take a look at some of the stocks in XLU you can see breaking through this this resistance we're holding up in here nicely we do have a top resistance up here that we have to uh, think about but I think a rally up into there does certainly look possible so keep an eye on those some of those utility stocks and if you look into the utility sector there are quite a few that are showing those bullish signs ready to break out trying to push on through looking very very bullish so there's a lot of stocks in that area showing uh, strength considerable strength to the upside so watch those so um, last but not least I'm going to mention Ford again 
and Ford continues to hang in this consolidating range. Still not a buy yet, not a sell yet, as long as this continues to wander in this uh, range. We'll look for that inspiration, whether it be bullish or bearish, and see if we can get that, that move that pushes us on through to the upside, or if we do finally, you know, just sink and, and start to fall. So watch those carefully. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day, and more importantly, I hope you come over and join us in the Right Way Options Trading Room and enjoy the day with us. We'll be over there. I'll be over there just before the market open. Uh, make sure you click that link just in uh, right there by the below the title of the video and that will take you to the um, right way options trading room and i um, love to have you all day make sure you ask your questions and i'm an open book you can ask anything you want and i will do my very best to help you with your trading everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day we'll see you right back here bright and early monday morning have an awesome weekend everybody.